Hey guys, back at my Ulta dumpster. Going through here, finding a whole bunch of Morphe lipsticks. So, yeah, let me go through all of this. Let me see what I can get. And I'll let you see when I'm in my car. Okay guys, so this is everything that I found in that first trip to Ulta. I found all these Morphe lipsticks. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them. So we have nine Morphe lipsticks. And then we also, I also found this, I believe this is Maybelline um, Matte Beige Babe Lipstick. I found two Stila Liquid Eyeshadows, one in the color Rose Gold Retro and Dollish. And they're both pretty full. A little Morphe Glitter Lip Topper and a Buxom Lip Gloss. And these are all the shades that I found. Some really pretty colors. So pretty. So I just wanted to show you how I would disinfect a normal um, lipstick. So I find these to be the easiest to kind of disinfect. So I'm going to show you what I would do. So this is a Morphe matte lipstick in the shade Matte Tempt. It's a really pretty nude color. So what I would do first is keep all these liquid lipsticks and any kind of liquid makeup in a freezer bag. And I will put it in the freezer for about a day. Um, I personally believe that cold temperatures does kill a lot of germs, so that's what I do. I keep it in there for a full day. Then um, these will be nice and hard, and you'll still be able to cut them. So what I would do is I would lay this down, sharp knife, be very careful, and I would go ahead and just cut off a decent amount. So we took off the top layer. So as you see, we cut off a good chunk. Then I will just take some rubbing alcohol, the highest percentage, and I'm going to spray all over that bitch. <laughs> alcohol does dry, so don't worry about it ruining the product. So as you see, it's all nice and disinfected. I will also do the same to the lid. So we're going to get in that lid. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but we're just going to do it. Soap and water as well. So yeah, let that dry. You could cut off just a little bit more and then take a clean napkin and just kind of take off the rest. And that's how I disinfect a lipstick. To, I'm pulling up to my Five Below dumpster. Let me see if there's anything in here today. All right, so I got two grab bags from Five Below. Looks like we got some pillows. I don't know, maybe some blankets, some random stuff. So we got two bags from Five Below to go through. So this is one of the things I found in the Five Below. It is a cute little doggy bed. I don't have a dog, but I have cats and they love beds. So I gave it to them and it was never used. It still had the tag. I think a worker just cut it while they were opening a box or something. And that's why they threw it out, but no product comes out of it. It's just, you know, not cute. So they couldn't sell it. Also, four little pillows from Five Below. I have no idea why they tossed them. Still have the tag on them. Um, so these were $5 each. A nice little like blue um, furry pillow and three black pillows. So pretty cute. Um, what I will do with these, they were wrapped in a bag by themselves and I don't think they were in the trash for very long, but I will put these in the dryer for about 20 minutes. Keep it on low because I don't know if they can stand heat, but that should be able to kind of, you know, secure them and get them all clean. Hey guys, so I just checked my Ulta dumpster and I came across a few things. I found the Moon Child um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Some cute tart tattoos. They're kind of cute. My daughter will love that. I found a Morphe concealer, a little tart lipstick, a Lancome face cream, soothing and plumping cream, and then I also found, feels full, a Tarte High Performance Chrome Paint Shadow Pot. So yeah, in the color Top Yacht. Um, I wasn't able to film just because it's raining outside. I did not want to get my phone all wet. So yeah, that's what I found at Ulta today. If you like what you see, just keep watching. This is the inside of the Moonchild palette. It is just missing pink heart. Still a little bit of product in there, but I do have this palette already. I believe my sister took it from me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it back from her and give her this one. 
so she stops taking my stuff here's everything that i found in my little haul from ulta i found the as you saw the chrome paint tart shape tape in the color top yacht this is what it looks like guys it's so pretty it's like a pressed pigment be really beautiful as a highlighter i really like that I found another Morphe concealer. This one is pretty light, but it's completely full, so that's pretty awesome. And then I thought this was Tarte, but this is actually a little Beauty Bakery lipstick. It's really pretty um, mauve red color and is in the color Chocolava. That's cute. So that's that. It's like a really cute cardboard. Very Tarte. Probably the coolest thing from this little haul is the Moonchild by Anastasia. Um, so as you saw in that little clip, it's just missing Pink Heart, but there is quite a bit of product still in there. Some are a little cracked, but yeah, it's a really pretty iridescent. So this is Blue Ice, Blue Shift, Star, you know, nice silver. I love this one, Lucky Clover. It's like a green shift. So um, this has been out for a while, but yeah, still a beautiful highlighting palette. Hey guys, I'm at my TJ Maxx dumpster. Found this cute mirrored frame. It's broken, but super, super cute. Let me see what else I can find. So guys, this is the cute little mirrored window art that I found at the TJ Maxx dumpster. The only issue with it is, I don't know if you, if you can see, but there's a clear um, crack right in the middle. I kind of wish there was wood right there. You would never have been able to see it. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. I thought I could do something with it. Why let it go to waste? So yeah, and it's actually a pretty heavy piece. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I found that. So guys, quickly, these are three makeup products that I found in the TJ Maxx dumpster when I found that cute little window mirrored thing. So this is a blush palette by Ellen Tracy. And it's really, really pretty, actually. You have two nice blushes. And of course, the highlighters were just broken. So that's why they tossed it. And they're actually really pretty. They really are. And then the blushes are nice, subtle blushes but those highlighters are stunning so I'm really excited about that I just have to clean it up as you can tell and yeah so it's the blush palette by Ellen Tracy and as you can see it was marked out really cool I found two MAC palettes I found the fashion fanatic MAC palette and yeah so this one is missing three you're missing the huge highlighter and one, two eyeshadows are broken. But there are still six beautiful eyeshadows in there. So pretty excited about that. Have to clean it up. So yeah, it was marked down. This is all on the same day. And then we have the Queen Supreme, which I think I have one of these already. So kind of same deal, just missing one. I guess the highlighters tend to break in these pretty easily because um, every one that I found, the highlighter is smashed. But yeah. All eyeshadows are still there, just the highlighter is gone. So pretty excited to have these. These retailed for $19.99, and I got it for zero dollars. So <laughs> yeah, um, those are cute little finds from TJ Maxx. Thank you, TJ Maxx. Hey guys, I'm currently in my Barnes and Nobles trash can, and I think I found a bag of toys. So let me get going through it. So yeah, it looks like there's tons of books. So, wow, okay, so we got a bag full of activity books. 